Many consider becoming a private tutor when they finish school or college or university. They would consider that as a part-time job until they find another permanent job. So that begs the question, is private tutoring business just a temporary job or is it a long-time career? So in order to answer this question, we are going to look at three aspects. The first aspect is how big is the tutoring market? Number two, what are the opportunities? And three, what does the future hold for the private tutoring market? Let's discuss. So first of all, how big is the market? Well, amid the COVID-19 crisis, the global private tutoring market is projected to continue to grow by a projected USD $105.9 billion to 2027. And the private tutoring is one of the segments analyzed and sized in this study is forecast to a growth at over 7% and reach a market size of US dollars 279.3 billion by the end of the analysis period. So that is from 2020 until 2027. What about in Southeast Asia? Well, we look at China. That is the second of the biggest economy of the world and in China, the private tutoring market in China, what are the key drivers and figures? Well, on, in 2017, they have a value of 24.82 billion, so about 25 billion, where else on 2021, the value is actually 40 billion. So that is a lot of money. When we look at it, what does all these figures translate? So just to break it down in uh, simple terms, we look at it this way. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is BLS, the median annual wage of tutors was USD 39,710 in 2017. So keeping in mind that most tutors work part-time and have many hours of work that is not billable. Pay scale reports the average hour hourly wage is $17.51 which, which have a range from $10 to $40. Again, your niche affects how much you can change, you can charge as a tutor. A tutor who specializes in exam preparation reports a fee between $100 to $160 per hour. So that gives an average tutoring time of 10 to 15 hours per client. So what this means is that you can expect a steady flow of clients for your tutoring business regarding what areas of expertise. As you add more subjects to your results, you can most likely raise your hourly rates according to the field as well as the subjects that are in demand in the near future. So as we can see, it is a real big market that uh, the tutoring business really is. Now the second question is, what are the opportunities? Well, a tutoring business has no overhead. So with many business ideas, you need to spend money in order to make money. But with tutoring, it is actually an exception. Many teachers around the world tutor to supplement or even replace their teacher's salary. And it can be done either in person or online. So let's look at uh, one example of that. According to the businessinsider.com, here is an example of tutoring. It isn't just a good paying side gig for college students. It can also be a rewarding full-time career. 
Example of a tutor who turned his tutoring side hustle to a full-time job. Trevor Klee is a tutor in Boston who earns more than 90000 from graduate tutoring over the course of a year. Imagine that, $90,000 per year. So that would translate to about more than $7,000 per month. Now that is quite a bit of money. So it, is, it shows a, a really good opportunity for tutors or other teachers to enter the tutoring business and really make some good money there. So let's look at the third aspect, which is what does the future lies for tutoring? Well, we know that the field of robotics promises to be most profoundly advancing technological transformation since the Industrial Revolution. So more and more now, we can see that robots are taking over the job of a human being. Some roles that may not exist in the future are such as travel agent jobs, cashier jobs, telemarketer jobs, safety inspector jobs, travel uh, uh, assembly line worker jobs, newspaper delivery jobs, referee jobs, train driver jobs, nurse job, as well as pharmacist job. What about the job of a tutor? Can the role of a tutor be replaced by a robot? Well, uh, we know that tutors have skill sets that will never be outdated. What sort of skill sets? Skill sets such as communication, behavioral skills, problem solving capabilities, social skills, as well as self-management and continuous thirst for knowledge, these are skill sets that a robot would not be able to imitate. So as we can see that uh, the tutoring business is a very big market. There are plenty of opportunities there for us to make money and it has a really bright future because con it has a con So we can see that as long as there is demand for students, all of them need teachers, masters, mentors and tutors. They will need to learn more math if they feel like programming new robots. Even then, science is not a limit. Everyone with the above mentioned skills can, can and should become a tutor. We all have something cool to teach if we think about it. Personal trainers, business coaches are also tutors in one way or the other. So these people are the future. Thanks for watching.